Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Young and the Restless Spoilers Adam and Chelsea Kiss The drama heats up this week on The Young and the Restless. Billy doesn't understand why Lily isn't happier, Nikki urges Jack to lean on her, and comfort sparks something else between Adam and Chelsea. This could get messy. Lily got Billy on board with the plan to undo the Chancellor Winters merger, and he believes that they will run the new Abbott Chancellor Company together. Well, I guess congratulations are in order, Lily tells Billy as they grab coffee in crimson lights. Believing that their plan has come to fruition, Billy doesn't get why she's not more excited. We won, he reminds her. Perhaps Lily feels bad about secretly working with Devin and Nate to blindside Billy. Jack sits down with Nikki and opens up to her about all the trouble with Kyle and Diane at Jabbit and the fracturing of the Abbott family. It's tearing me apart, he admits. Concerned, Nikki responds. Talk to me, Jack. Let me be there for you the way you have been here for me. Nikki asking Jack to be her sponsor already had Victor seeing red, so how will he feel about their continued closeness? Speaking of closeness, Adam and Chelsea have been spending a lot of time together as they worry about their son, Connor. Adam is back with Sally and Chelsea has been close to Billy, but it looks like it's a case of out of sight, out of mind, as Adam offers Chelsea a shoulder to cry on, literally. He holds her tight against him. As their faces come together, the two share a tentative kiss that suddenly explodes into passion as they both give in to their feelings. Is this the start of something real or will Adam and Chelsea immediately regret their actions? Here's a tease featuring some of the drama coming up on Y&R. The penthouse was bathed in the soft glow of the setting sun, casting long shadows across the elegant furniture. Chelsea Lawson stood by the large windows, her eyes lost in the distant horizon. Her thoughts were a tangled mess, a whirlwind of emotions that she had been trying to suppress for weeks. Ever since her return to Genoa City, things had been a roller coaster. But nothing had prepared her for the storm that Adam Newman would bring into her life once again. Chelsea had always known that Adam was like a force of nature, unpredictable, intense, and magnetic. Their history was complicated, filled with passion, betrayal, and undeniable chemistry. Despite everything, there had always been a part of her that couldn't let go of him, no matter how much she tried to convince herself otherwise. Tonight, the air was thick with anticipation. Adam had called her earlier, his voice low and urgent, asking her to meet him at the penthouse. She knew better than to get her hopes up, but something in his tone had stirred old feelings, rekindling a spark she thought had long been extinguished. The doorbell rang, snapping Chelsea out of her reverie. Her heart skipped a beat as she walked to the door, her hand trembling slightly as she reached for the handle. When she opened it, Adam stood on the other side, his eyes locking onto hers with an intensity that made her breath catch. Chelsea, he said softly, stepping inside without waiting for an invitation. Adam, she replied, closing the door behind him. What's going on? You sounded urgent on the phone. He ran a hand through his hair, a gesture she remembered all too well. I needed to see you. There's something we need to talk about. She crossed her arms, trying to put up a barrier between them. What is it? Adam took a deep breath, his eyes never leaving hers. I know things have been complicated between us. I've made mistakes. More than I can count. But I can't keep pretending that I don't care about you. That I don't still have feelings for you. Chelsea's heart pounded in her chest. She had been waiting for this moment, yet now that it was here, she didn't know what to say. Adam, we've been through so much. I don't know if we can just pick up where we left off. He stepped closer, closing the distance between them. I'm not asking for that. I just want you to know how I feel. I've tried to move on, but I can't. You're in my blood, Ch Chelsea. You always have been. Tears welled up in her eyes as she listened to his words. She wanted to believe him, to let herself fall into his arms and forget all the pain. The scars were still there, a constant reminder of the heart touch he had caused. Adam, I... 
He didn't let her finish. In one swift movement, he cupped her face in his hands and pressed his lips to hers. The kiss was electric, sending a jolt of electricity through her body. It was as if no time had passed, as if they were still the same two people who had once been madly in love. Chelsea's resolve melted away as she kissed him back, her arms wrapping around his neck. All the anger, all the hurt, it all seemed to fade in that moment. All that mattered was the man in front of her, the man who had always held a piece of her heart. They broke apart, both of them breathing heavily. Adam rested his forehead against hers, his eyes closed. I love you, Chelsea. I always have. She opened her eyes, looking up at him. I love you too, Adam, but I'm scared, scared of getting hurt again. He nodded, understanding her fears. I know, and I promise I'll do everything I can to make things right to prove to you that this time it's different. Chelsea wanted to believe him. She wanted to believe that they could have a future together, that they could overcome the obstacles that had torn them apart before. But she also knew that it wouldn't be easy. I want to believe you, she whispered. But it's going to take time. Adam smiled, a glimmer of hope in his eyes. I'm willing to wait. As long as it takes. She leaned into him, resting her head on his chest. For the first time in a long time, she allowed herself to hope. Maybe, just maybe, they could find their way back to each other. As the night fell and the city lights twinkled outside, Chelsea and Adam stood together, holding onto each other as if their lives depended on it. In that moment, nothing else mattered. Not the past, not the future. Only the present and the promise of what could be. The journey ahead would be filled with challenges, but they were ready to face them together. Because despite everything, despite all the pain and heartbreak, their love was still strong. And maybe, just maybe, that was enough. For now, they had each other. And that was all that mattered.